question what's the benefits of being on in the observer as opposed to staying re-identified with the ego. The benefits of being in the observer is that uh, you disidentify the thoughts and you start to experience a more stable and, and consistent uh, experience of peace and serenity and this field of witness, uh, this field of limitlessness. So you start to experience periods of grace uh, and, and uh, a presence that is with you wherever you go. This is uh, very different to being identified with the thinking. When you're identified with the ego, then you're in your thoughts most of the time. And then when, you, when the ego fight, does something which it thinks is uh, special, it gets a temporary high, like it may go into a state of happiness from eating some donuts or some alcohol or meeting someone in a relationship. But then, because uh, that high is because of the absence of the ego, a temporary ego comes back in. So you get, when you're, when you're in the ego, you are sometimes happy and then you sometimes go down. And then you're happy again because you're eating some food or you're meeting someone. And then you go down again. So you have this fluctuating states within, uh, within the ego, when you're identified with your thoughts in your body. But the more you disidentify and you go into the fields of the observer, you get a stable sense of peace and as you go deeper and deeper into the observer you get a constant state of presence and grace this witnessing field that is with you wherever you go so like with all the great teachers when you're in the ego happiness is projected onto well i'm happy if i have a big house if i have a relationship if i can have this job and then when you lose those things, you become unhappy. But the more you go into the observer, you become happy no matter what happens in life. Because this world is a world of transitory phenomena. So when you're in the ego, you seek your happiness in the transitory. But the more you go into the observer, you get a stable, uh, a stable sense of happiness. And the fields of grace are the things that really look after you and support miracles. And when you go away and go more into your ego, life becomes more full of drama, ups and downs, and it can eventually get chaotic as you lose the source of grace. So those are some of the advantages of practicing self-inquiry and getting those, um, those states of happiness from, from within.